we have Stephanie. I do believe I'm actually the guest interviewer for this section, aren't I? Have a seat. Why, well, thank you. Welcome to, our, to our studio apartment. Oh, um, we basically designed so it to look like a demolition. So well furnished. Uh, research facility basically basically we set this all up it looks like crap because we have been spending about a year or so mm. yeah yeah now Mark, I have some questions for you yes. being the guest interviewer today uh, is that your is that your chair your director's chair that, that is kind that, of is, a, is a it bit, broken? I'm not sure what happened to it yeah what's that about so it's, just, it's just you know that's that no good the director's uh, have a broken chair and now, what, how's it like working with some of the crew? Like, like Brian, for example. What's it like oh, working with Brian? Oh, it's amazing, man. Wait, which Brian? Brian Credox? Yeah, Credox. Yeah. Oh, that's... He never does this to me, though. <laughs> He's thrusting. Let's go for a commercial I'm break. Let's go for... <laughs> They'll be back. They'll be back in about five minutes. Although it is Master Chief. Maybe two minutes. Right. And da, 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 da. Welcome back, guys, to Mask Skater channel. Again, we have Steph and myself. Yes, interviewer. I don't believe that you fully answered my question before, Mark. I'm so, very interested to know what it's like to work with Brian. Brian, um, mm -hmm. basically, we've been through some highs and lows. A lot of highs, a lot of fun. Uh, and it's a total learning process. I'm learning a lot of makeup stuff. Um, and what stuff do you learn for me? Oh, uh, I learned to tolerate your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brian is really uh, patient. He's a good listener. He's a good listener. Seriously, he's a good listener. Very good um, assistant assistant yeah, I'm director sorry, I didn't too. Get that? I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> so like when I when I sometimes I go oh and I got stuff and I would talk to him and he would like okay just chill think about this or like we got these 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 options and stuff and I'll be like okay okay let's work it out and we work things out. There's I don't think there was actually a problem that we didn't manage to work it out together and solve eventually. There was problems. What problems about that Rubik's cube, cube we couldn't solve? Uh, well we just smashed it and that Those was it. Terrible. Those are terrible anyway. You guys actually probably could have used that in a, in a scene. You know a zombie getting angry with a Rubik's cube just smashing it to bits. I love that. Uh, but I do have another question for you yes. and I'm very interested in, in, in this. I'd love to know your opinion on this. What's it like working with, with Master Chief? Because he seems a bit you know like steals you know steals the scenes maybe a little bit you know on his high horse. I heard that he has three trailers. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does have three. Um, definitely one of the most, um, only recently did I get to cosplay in the mask. So then I got to experience kind of the whole feel of, isn't, when you're acting with just normal clothes and stuff, you just think, oh, I need to walk from here to here, here, and just do this lines, point that. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing that in the mask, and the lighting is awesome here, as you can tell, it's, uh, it's we always swim in pretty, not always the best, Lighting, there's debris all over. This is this is actually pretty pleased. I think. Mm. I think Brian. So nice to even have to crawl on their hands and knees in this place. Yep. So actually, only after doing a bit of cosplay myself in a mask and everything that I know it's actually really hard. And Master Chief always just he always hits the pose right, nice on the photo, looking so chillaxed, mm. just being. And that's. He must. He must find it quite yeah. quite easy. I, I head butted that door before. I looked at me wrong, and I was just like, take that door. That's so, very instant door scene. So do you think that maybe, you know, because he does have to wear that suit all the time, maybe that explains his holier than thou attitude? Um, I think he has a lot of experience, definitely, <laughs> um, with posing and taking photos and taking directions. Mm. He's really good in, like, when we want to do shots. Um, no yeah. complaints ever I had from Master Chief. Must be really hard to emote in that mask. <laughs> <laughs> no, no serious complaints. This interview is over. No serious complaints. Uh, if, if we got blood on his suit no, once, <laughs> we got blood on his suit one and he's really protective no about his suit, but he was like, it'll come off. He's really cool about it. Yeah. Normally, <laughs> if you get blood, if someone else get blood, I don't know what happened to it. I don't know what happened. He's probably- uh, Yeah, what, what could possibly happen grenade. if someone else got blood on them? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he is pretty, quite protective of that suit though, isn't he? So, so he's really, on the work, all the ending crew, not just Master, everyone. Um, you, you. This interview isn't tongue in cheek enough for my liking anymore. <laughs> tongue in cheek? I think I said tongue in cheek. You said tongue in cheek. <laughs> <laughs> you put me on the brain. Ready and slip. <laughs> this interview is over. There's the wet stuff there. Are you making a zombie film? Oh, I, I don't work here. <laughs> 